Hi guys and welcome to the third video in this series where we're learning Java using Android Studio. Okay from videos one and two we have installed Android Studio and set up the emulator and now we're going to take a, a very quick look at how the uh, coding is basically read and executed in such a way that we actually see what is outputted on our device or uh, emulator and then we can start editing and changing what we see and get it to output what we want it to output. So the first thing we're, we're going to look at is what is actually going on in, in the background when we start an application. And we're going to start with the basics because uh, if I start throwing too much stuff, if I throw, start throwing too much stuff at you, it just seems too daunting, it become overwhelming and it just take the fun out of it and you, you know, it just put you off. So I'm just going to explain it as simply as I can on how the program is read when it's run. So I'm just going to start a new project. So I'm going to go file new project. And I'm going to keep it keep it as a default. It's not going to actually change anything. I'm just going to click next. I'm going to make sure that it says API 15. Next. And you want to make sure it's an empty activity. Just click next and keep it everything default and then click finish. And it will set up a new project. And we're done. So I'm just going to run this. I don't have to do anything to it. I'm just going to click. I can click run and run app, or I can just press this play button. And I'm going to just launch this emulator. And I'm going to click this, tick this box here to say to use the same device for future launches. So I don't keep getting this box come up every time. Okay, that. on our emulator screen. I'm just going to put it over to the right. In fact what I'm going to do is I'm just going to minimize this. Just so we see that there. And there's our Hello World application. So let's actually have a look at what happens when we run an application. So I've closed this, I click the back button, go to the apps, and there's our application there. So if I tap when I tap that icon and it runs this application, in this case for this particular program, it will look for a file called uh, main activity, which is this file here. Specifically, something called a class called name called main activity. So here's our class, main activity. The classes are something we'll be looking at a little bit later in the series. So it finds this class called main activity and it opens it up and has a little rummage around and it looks for something called on create. It wants to look for something called on create and it finds it here. And that's actually this whole block here. So this is the on create portion of the program. And so it's going to read this read this contents and it's going to see these two lines and it's going to execute whatever's in these lines. And in this case, it sees that you're referencing, it's going to set the content view, don't worry about what this means at the moment, but it's going to set the content, it's going to set the content of your application to this file here, to this, called, it's called a layout. Again, later on we'll explain what layouts are. And this is the activity main, and this is the activity main layout here. So if we click on that, and immediately we get a rendering problem. Now you may you may see this, what a quick solution is, you, if you see this app theme here, you click on that and just select a, a default device and it will give you a graphical representation of what you should see. So what's actually happening here is it's reading the contents of this, this file here, this activity main. And there's a lot of gump here. Again, we'll go through all this later, so don't worry about it too much. But specifically, it's going to output this here. That's all it does is it outputs this text, hello world, which we see here. And that's all this application ever does. Because if we go back to our, our actual code, our main activity code, it runs that, runs this, runs these two lines, and that's it, that's all there is. So it reads this and stops because there's nothing else. There's nothing else to run. So you can't actually do anything with this application. All it literally does is it outputs hello world. So at a real basic fundamental level, this is how the Android application runs and executes. 
So in order for us to start learning how to change our program, we're going to oh, we're going to um, rewrite this this on create section. So we're not going to tell it to reference this this file. So we're actually going to delete this. We we leave this line in. We need this line. So we're going to delete this line here. So I'm just going to highlight it and I'm going to delete it. And we're going to replace it with these three lines of text, which you'll find in the comment section below. So just copy and paste and put it, put them in here. When you do paste them, you'll get this this pop up window. Again, don't worry about this too much for now. It just wants to import this uh, text view class, which is what we're using here. Again, I'll go for all this later. So you just click OK. It does it all automatically. You haven't got to do anything. Just click OK. So we've replaced that set that um, set content view text with these three lines. And that's pretty much does exactly the same thing. So it's no longer referencing this this file here. It'll read these three lines and output whatever's in these words here. So we'll just test this. So we're gonna we're gonna change this. You can type in whatever you want. I'm just gonna put check this out. I'm just gonna change that. Make sure you keep the quotation marks either side. Um, if you don't, you'll get a little squiggly line underneath to say that there's an error. So make sure you've got your quotation marks either side. And so just to prove that it's going to ignore this file now, we're going to run this. And the replication is just starting. And there we go, it's changed now to check this out. So what, what this is going to allow us to do is to actually move on and start to learn one of the fundamental aspects of um, programming, and that is something called variables, specifically in this case, strings this is what this is this is just a string and in our next video I'll explain what a variable is and what a string is so thanks for watching guys thanks for subscribing and I'll see you in the next video